Hello, it's Amy with Just a Little Ink. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And today I would like to share with you a card I designed for a birthday swap um, that I'm participating in for Onstage Houston 2024. And so with that, I'm going to get started and show you my, my screen. I'm using the Textured Floral Bundle. comes with a photopolymer stamp set, and I put mine on magnetic sheets but it's a wonderful two-step stamp set with coordinating dies and I'm using some of the dies and some of the stamps and I'm also going to use the frame from the he's all that um, just the dies I'm not using the stamp set but both of these can be found in our annual catalog so let me put this aside I'm also going to be using it's a very muted color. I'm using Pebble Path, which is becoming one of my most favorite um, colors. This is an in color, a 2023 to 25, so it's around for one more year in color. This is a four and a quarter by 11 inches scored at five and a half. I have a quarter sheet of basic white cardstock, four inches by five and a quarter, as well as a piece. And what you need, this one's a little shy because um, I've already cut some of my things out, but this is a should be a five and a quarter by a three inch piece. This is not quite that length of basic white, and that is to be able to get the leaves and the flower and that frame cut out. You want a piece of vellum cardstock that's three and a half by four and a half, as well as a piece of designer series paper, and I really liked what the Earth and Elegance um, papers, there's one that is a pebbled path and it's just a little bit of a texture and I really liked that. This is on the other side. Um, I'm going to be using the colors um, Moody Mauve for the flower, Old Olive for the um, leaves, and Blackberry Bliss for that little um, stamen that goes in the inside. So let me just put these up here for the moment and it's a double up. If you need any of the supplies that I'm using and you don't already have a demonstrator, I would love it if you would order through me. Um, I send thank you notes for every online order that comes, every order I receive, and you can find that ordering information here at justalittleink.stampinup.net. Um, if you order 150 or more, please do not use my current host codes. You will end up receiving your own host rewards from Stampin' Up! And if you use that host code, it, it preempts you from not getting rewards. So don't do that if it's 150 or more. However, if it is 150 or, or excuse me, under 150, please use that code. Um, and then I will put it in a pile. I actually give ho um, loyalty rewards currently. And so um, that goes toward for every $50. And so just something to think about. I have all that information on my blog, justalittleink.com. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, now would be a great time to do that or to click on that little bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. So I'm going to attach this two inch, I didn't tell you the length of this one, two inches by five and a half. I'm going to attach it along this left edge. It's a real simple layout, but I really, really like it. Um, I grab my scissors. I don't know if you've ever had issues where you cut just a teeny bit longer and wider than you thought you did. And that's these our paper snips are just an indispensable tool. You can use your paper trimmer, but I find oftentimes I just need to take off the most tiniest of slivers. And so I don't want to use my trimmer. So got that. Um, I've already gone ahead and stamped for my inside. Every thought of you makes me smile with the two step um, stamp set for this. And I, what I did is it's the same colors here, but I've stamped off once before I stamped it down. I'm going to go ahead and attach that in here. Did you know that that's a way to get more colors from the colors you already have? You can go off up to probably about two times of the color. So ink it up, stamp it off onto a scrap piece of paper, 
and then stamp and you get one shade lighter. If you do it twice, you get a two shades lighter and it gives you different colors. So we're going to then put everything else onto our um, piece of vellum cardstock. It gives a nice subtle look. The other thing I didn't tell you is you're going to need a piece of our um, in color twine. This is the 2023 25 in color twine and it's about 12 inches. So I'm going to grab my stamp here. I'm going to grab my um, ink. Let's we'll see how well we can get this on here. If I don't get all three, then we don't get all three. I'm going to come up about like so. Stamp my rows and I will clean my flowers, my stamps later. You definitely want to clean your stamps. Keeps the best longevity to your, your stamps if you keep them clean. Um, do know that photopolymer stamps do color when you use certain, I mean stain when you use certain colors. So this is the little stamen. And I'm going to come and grab from about here up like so. Um, but they don't, it does not affect the color of this, how they stamp. It just is a stain on the stamp. Um, it, your reds and your purples are the worst. And then I'm going to pull out my, um, pull out my green, my old olive, grab the leaves for this. And I found for me, I don't know, maybe you can figure out better than I have, but I have found that um, I do the best with this particular stamp set. Um, if I don't try to do them connected on the stamp, in other words, to cut them out with the dies, which is what I did with mine. Okay, and then I've got one more. Let me just grab and pull this off. I want those words, and I think I actually didn't bring my basic gray, or not basic gray, I didn't grab the... Um, the correct color. We're going to go ahead and just stamp it in tuxedo black just because I want to show you what it looks like. This is really why I bought the whole stamp set. Isn't that awful? I, I loved the birthday blooms for you. I just really like this stamp and the flowers are pretty too. So we're just going to go ahead and use tuxedo black. I stamped originally in um, and you'll see that with what I pulled out. So I've already cut them out. Um, these all have coordinating dies. So I've got with the pebbled path and then the two pieces here. So let me see how that works. Okay. Then I cut, I already had attached some of the um, adhesive sheets. I'm short for words today. And then I cut out this, which reminds me of um, eucalyptus may or name may not be, but I use this die. It does not have a stamp that goes with it, so I just cut it out. And I'm going to grab my take your pick tool and the pokey end to lift that off. What that adhesive sheet does is for detailed die cutting, it is so much easier to keep things down um, if you attach that before you cut things out. Just a really good option. So, okay, and then so I'm going to grab this and to attach everything. What I did is I came in, kind of angled it over. If you don't like it, you can move it around for a little bit. There you go here. I want it about like so. Okay, then I'm going to grab my liquid glue, my multi purpose liquid glue, and how oh, good it's going to come out today. It's getting down a little ways. Good tip is to keep a straight pin handy, and if it isn't coming out, you can attach it. So what I want to do is I want to angle this, kind of something about like so. And then I want to take and put dimensionals on the back.
We have a driveway sensor, and I have a feeling that my husband is home from his ride. And it may preempt me keeping on here. So I'm going to take these off, move them over, and I want to grab my twine, and I'm just going to make a bow with it. It's not going to see really anything other than the loops. But I liked how having some of the um, loop show and some of the, of the uh, tails to show. And I'm going to grab my glue dots, stick my twine to the glue dot, put it down, push these up. Then I'm going to take that flower and stick it on top. So this is going to come in over like so. So I've got flower and then I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of my greeting. Just need a few of them, don't need a lot. And I'm going to then attach my greeting over here to the lower edge. Like so. And then I can attach using my stamp and seal, which I am not sure what I did with my stamp and seal. So guess what? Oh, it's sitting right there. You don't ever do that, do you? Stick in way over here. I'm going to grab and I'm going to put just little bot dots. If I have it underneath elements that are already on here, you won't see them. Then I can attach this to the front of my card. And it was a simple, simple card, but I really liked the elegance of this layout. There's one other element I needed because I needed some gems and so I am using the iridescent pearls basic jewels so I just grabbed one of the mid-sized mid largest ones put it down at the bottom and then grabbed a couple of the little jewels and stuck them up toward the top and like so isn't that a pretty elegant card to give to a sweet friend so that is all I had for you. Thanks again for joining me. Um, I will look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great day.